There's been a fair amount of interest in uh, in the garden wall. I'd just like to draw some attention to uh, some of the things I've seen in the uh, the garden lately. I don't know whether um, this is because of the uh, the coating I put on it or the oil. Um, this garden was done about seven or eight years ago, and uh, this area here is fairly black. You can see. So it's on top there. It doesn't seem to matter whether the uh, the surface is vertical or horizontal. And you can see here on the sides of the steps, also going down the path. This wall was done at approximately the same time and uh, it's not too bad. This is another wall. Um, it's also still in good condition and it was uh, painted with the, uh, the oil this one's all good um, none of the wood is rotting uh, the condition of the woods good yeah so as I say this wall's good it's just that uh, that little bit there. Um, this wall's got some in the middle. Sort of, uh, I'm not really sure what it is. Whether it's mold or um, just the dampness or what. But this is the worst part here near the shed. So uh, that's uh, yeah, that's something to consider if you're going to uh, make the decision to um, stain your wood. Give you an idea. Um, you can see here there was a plant, and some of it hasn't been um, painted at all. So the, the unpainted section there is um, if the wood, uh, if the pine was never uh, treated. And as you can see, it's quite good. Um, there's evidence of that blackness uh, just there where it's got damp. But uh, unpainted or untreated or treated, uh, it doesn't seem to make any real difference. The thickness of the wood, the um, the 50 or 55 or uh, 75, it makes no difference. Uh, 
they're the same but as I say all of this all of that down the side here um, this down there um, there's a little bit on that one and uh, but up at the shed it's, uh, it's mainly where the um, that black color is I've been in the hardware shop and uh, starting with B and uh, I noticed that they're now selling this uh, these sleepers and they've been painted or treated with uh, with the oil I have bought a um, a sleeper the same as this that's uh, that's 50 and that's 70 just to uh, make it the right height but I've bought a, uh, a 75 millimeter um, sleeper I'm going to install it down there on a part of the garden wall and uh, that'll be in a later video um, the wood's fine you know it's, it's still good it's not rotten it's uh, good and solid So that's, that's echoing uh, up to the top and, uh, and down through the, uh, the supporting wall. You know, I can't, if I gouge it out, I only get the very top, um, that soot or uh, the dirt or whatever it is. But there's uh, the solid wood underneath that. Okay, I've um, got a screwdriver and... As we'll see, the wood's good. It also goes in a little way there, so... Okay, thanks for watching the video.